Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to set up trailing stop in TradeLab. So a trailing stop is when you want to make a stop loss and it follows um, going up or down, depending on if you're doing a long or a short. Um, and it follows the pricing line, so it kind of moves with you. Uh, that way, as you make money, it moves up or down, right? So uh, I'm going to start with a Johnny's Bot template here. Um, this is a strategy that um, I made another video on, so you can go watch that. It's uh, link in the, is in the description. Um, this strategy has a dynamic long and stop. So if we take a look at, um, sorry, a, uh, a dynamic take and stop. So if we take a look at uh, TradingView, we can see Johnny's bot right here. So you can search Johnny, you'll see it right here. And Johnny's bot actually has um, these plots right here. And so we're sending long TP and SL long. And I have that set up in my um, alerts. So if I set up my strategy here, and I take a look at my alerts, I can see that I have uh, that short SL um, and short TP and all that information in here. So let's take a look at how I set that up. If I come over to my alerts, uh, I would look at uh, Johnny's strategy alert, hit edit, and you can see that I uh, went in here and created fields for my long TP, long SL, and then I also went into Johnny's bot and I found the plot name. So this is the data view window. It's the fourth button from the top on the sidebar, it's called data window, okay? And this data window shows um, your strategies and underneath each strategy is the plot names. So what I did over here is I said, hey, I want this to be dynamic. It's a number, it's the long take profit. I want it to be dynamic and I want it to be a, a trading view plot name. And then what I did is I typed in this name right here into this box and that ties this together so that when I copy this and make my uh, alert, and I show you how to do this in another video, so I'm just running through it real fast. But it, when I make my alert and set this up, that ties this piece of information over to TradeLab, okay? And so what we're gonna be able to do with that is we come into the edit screen and we can come to configure TPSL and you'll be able to uh, link that information to these lines. And I've actually already done that. So you can see that the stop loss is currently set to long SL. Well, that's the long SL that we set up in the alerts that's being fed through uh, TradingView. Okay, so this long stop line is going to automatically place wherever TradingView tells it to place, right? So uh, what we want to do is we want to make this trailing. That's the goal of this video. We want this stop line to start trailing. So let's talk about how to do that. The first way we can do that is by hitting this edit button, and that will make this um, go into like a wizard mode where it's going to walk you through how to edit the stop line. Okay, so what kind of line do you want it to be? We'll keep it as a stop line. Where do you want to place the line? So I just told you that we're placing the line via our long SL, so it's a dynamic. If I uncheck dynamic, I could I could type in a name, you know, a, a certain price in here if I wanted it to be at a certain price, or I could do a percentage uh, offset from the entry, right? But what I have in here is a dynamic, right? And I have it set to my long SL, okay? And to make it trailing, all I have to do is check this trailing box. So check the trailing, and we should be good to go. So hit next. Uh, we want this to uh, take out of our position 100%, so we'll close that on our stop loss there. And uh, we want to do a limit and a stop line. So now we have our stop line there. And I'll actually rename it long stop line. Okay. So you'll notice a second ago, I clicked this button right here, quick edit. So this is the other way that we can edit. So you can click edit and you'll go through the wizard that I just showed you. Okay. But we can also hit quick edit, and this will show us all of the information that I just edited really quickly. So now I can edit all my lines very quickly, okay? Um, it's a little bit, you know, uh, complicated. There's a lot of fields here, but there's a lot of options that you can do with uh, TPSL lines. So I wanted to make sure that I gave everybody everything that they needed. So you can see that I already made uh, the long stop line uh, trailing right here. So let's do that for our short stop line. All I gotta do is select trailing. So now they're both trailing, we're good to go. So those are the two ways that you can edit uh, lines. You can either use the edit button and walk through the strategy or the wizard rather, or you can use the quick edit. This is a quick edit button right up here. And that turns it into this. Okay. If you prefer that. Um, I guess one thing I should mention here is you'll see that we're doing dynamic and we're sending this information in. Um, and I have that linked. I showed you that. If I wanted to make another field of my alerts and send more information, I could make the amount dynamic. So instead of doing 100% position, if I had multiple stop lines or multiple take lines, I could make them send whatever information is coming from a strategy. So if the strategy has three take lines and it is sending 
however much you know dynamically it wants to take out of there. We, you can actually do that here, right? Uh, you could check dynamics, send that information, and have it do that. So um, just wanted to mention that. We'll click save on this, and now we have our trailing set up for our stop lines. And it's really that simple. All you really have to do on any strategy is come in here, check, or uh, sorry, <laughs> come in here, hit quick edit, and your trailing, just check the box. And now you have a trailing stop loss. Now, let's say you want to start the trailing stop loss, or sorry, you want to start, start the stop loss as not trailing. Let's say I want to put my stop loss there at a certain amount, and then it's not moving. And then when I hit my first take profit line, then I want to start my uh, uh, stop line as trailing, right? I want to start trailing my stop line. Well, we can do that. Um, so let's turn trailing off. Okay, so trailing's off now. We'll hit save. And let's say that we want to um, make it trailing when we hit our, our uh, take profit, okay? So we'll hit uh, add exit rule and we'll name this uh, trailing, okay? And for our condition, we'll add a condition. This rule is going to check to see if our strategy line, that is our stop line. So I'm, I'm going to make this a long trailing and I'm gonna copy this and make it short here in a second. So we'll do this with a long stop line, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna see if this stop line has been hit, or sorry, actually not the stop line, I wanna do the take line. So I want to see if this take line has been hit. If it's equal to true, is hit, is equal to true, then I know that we've hit our take line, okay? And if we've hit our take line, then what I want to do is I want to set our strategy line. The strategy line I want to set is my stop line. And I want to set the trailing right here, trailing. And I want to set trailing to true, okay? So this is a pretty simple rule. This rule is checking to see if my long take line is hit and if it's if is hit is equal to true. Okay, that is me hitting my take line. If I hit my take line, then I want to hit my trailing over here and set my trailing to true. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now is we can uh <clears throat> So one other thing you need to do if you're going to set trailing to true, now that trailing is set to true, it's going to pass the take line, go into trailing, and eventually it'll get stopped out or exit whatever it needs. When it opens up a new order, your, your trailing is still going to be true. So we have to reset it. So what we can do to reset it is in our entry for my long right here, I'm going to add an action and I can say set, oops, set my strategy line, just like I did before over here, set my strategy line, my stop line, and I wanna set the trailing, but this time, instead of setting it to true, I wanna set it to false, and that's gonna reset it, okay? And I usually like to have my place order at the bottom, just for organization. There's little arrows here. You can click the arrows, and it'll move the uh, rules, or sorry, the actions within the rule, uh, if that makes sense. So I just move that up. I'll do the same thing over here for the short. So I'll just reset my uh, short trailing, so my strategy lines, my short stop line trailing to false. And I'll move this up. And so now I got those reset. I can hit the clone button right here. And now I have two of these rules. I'll have my long trailing on the left and I'll have my short trailing on the right. And for the short, I need to make sure that I change my lines to say the short take line is hit and make sure that it's true. And make sure that the uh, short stop line is set to true for trailing. And that's what that should look like. So now I won't be trailing until I hit my take my first take line. And when I've hit my take line, trailing will turn on. And what, what we're actually doing, what Trade Lab is actually doing is anytime you change something with your strategy uh, lines. So if I make an action that strategy lines and I set something in here, I notice that that has changed and I go and uh, cancel your old line and I place a new line with your, with your updated information. So you, you can use this to change the price if you wanted to move your stop line from one place to another, we could make it break even, right? So if I wanted to, not only do I want to do trailing, but I had my stop line at like, what, 2%, negative 2% or whatever. So let's say that I now want to, when I hit my take line, not only do I want to do trailing on, but I want to break even, right? Uh, I have a whole break even video that shows you how to do this. But for an example, I can take my strategy lines. I can take my stop line. I just take the price 
and I want to set it to my entry price, right? So I can check my reference field because I don't know what my entry price is always going to be. I can't type it in here. So I'm just going to check my reference field box right here. And this gives me a drop down. Now I can type in entry price and here it is. So now I'm setting my stop line up to where I enter. And since this is a long, a real break even would be with fees, right? So I don't lose anything, no money, right? So I could add one more and I can modify this. So I just set it to entry price. Since we're doing a long, I would want to bump up my stop line a little bit, right? I would want to add to it. So I would hit add right here and I would say strategy lines, long stop line, price, and I would want to add reference field. Well, how much was my fees? I'm not sure. So I'll use my reference field right here. And now I'll always get the right fee, right? So I'll add that to my fee and, and there we go, okay? Um, we'll do the same thing over here just to show you. So if I'm doing this with um, a short, the math is the opposite. Keep that in mind, right? So if I'm doing a short stop line price, I still set it to my entry price because we're just going to move it to the entry, right? That makes sense. We set it to whatever our entry price was. But when we go to uh, tack on the fees, because I'm doing short, my stop line needs to come down. Can you imagine that? The stop line is going to be above where we enter because we're trying to go down to make money. So so the stop line has actually got to uh, come down a little bit. So we're going to subtract instead of add, right? Does that make sense? So we're going to go strategy lines, stop line, short stop line there, price, and we're going to subtract our fees, okay? And that's pretty much it. I think I've covered, uh, there's, there's some other videos. If you have questions about break even um, or multiple TPSL, uh, there's other videos on how to set this up. Um, I just wanted to cover how to do trailing stop loss. So uh, that's that. If you have any more questions, you can jump into Discord with us. Uh, you can do that by clicking on the help button down here. And if you just search Discord, Discord, how do I join the Discord? And there's a link right here, okay? Uh, if you don't wanna join the Discord, but you do wanna send me a message, you can still do that. You can click on the create support ticket and this will allow you to send me an email and I'll email you back, okay? So if you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, it helps us out and uh, gives you all the latest updates. I try to release videos, um, a couple videos a week, you know, here and there, show you all the new updates. Do have some cool stuff coming. Um, Trade Lab is free. I, I always forget to mention that. Uh, so if you do want to try it out, uh, it's tradelab.ai. It's free. Uh, sign up. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take it easy.